walk you through the process of how we do each illustration step by step. So first of all we have our book dummy with the sketches for each illustration that we planned out months ago. So what we're doing today is the escape, climbing over the wall, which we have scanned into Photoshop where we make sure that everything is right on the perspective and framing and a lot of times I'll uh, actually sketch out some of the basic buildings or furniture in Photoshop to save me some time in the drawing process. But with this one, it's a lot more simple for me because all I have to draw is a wall and Emily's drawing the people. So we're going to print it out here and go to the next step. Okay. Next, we're going to trace the size and some of the basic shapes onto our watercolor paper. Okay, and next we're going to put it on one of, one of the really nice glass easels that Dad built for us. This one's a lot less involved than some of the other ones. And Mom and Elizabeth have been doing some of the trace work for me. So what this does is it gives us the basic portions of the illustrations and then the basic spots where the people are going to go. Usually I draw the backdrop and then Emily comes back and draws the people. This one I think since there's so many people she's going to do the people first. Uh, but it gives us the basic idea of where everything is supposed to be which we've already pre-planned in Photoshop in case there was something that needed to be moved around then we could move it around in the sloppy little sketch instead of having to draw something and then figure out it's the wrong, in the wrong spot and erase it. So it's a stage of pre-planning. Okay, so we have these really nice uh, little models here that have all the different joints, like a real poor person. And they've got little hands, different hands that you can put on them. They have a sword too, but we haven't needed to use that yet. Um, so we have them climbing over the wall here, and this is going to be very helpful for drawing a complicated act people in action. So we're going to take a little picture to look out for drawing. I've just about finished on the pencil of the climbing over the wall um, illustration for the Catherine Von Bora book. And so I'm drawing the people here, and Jenna's going to finish up when I'm done. I've used the pictures we took earlier of the little models that we have for the references for the people to get them proportionate. Okay, so Emily has gotten done drawing the people. So I'm finishing up the wall, and the ditch, and the grass, and then she's going to spray it, and we're going to start watercoloring. So after we finished the pencil, um, we sprayed it with a little bit of this, so that when we paint the watercolor we didn't smudge our pencil decals. And once it dries a little bit, then we go. Um, I'll go back over it, some of the lines and the... Um, creases here in the clothes so you'll have some depth in the folds of the clothes. Emily has her part of this illustration done, watercoloring, and now I'm working on watercoloring the wall and the grass. I've done a golden colored wash 
and a brown wash. Now I'm working on the blue. And last, I'll be doing the green. I think that's all the colors that I will need for this picture. And whenever I get done, then we're going to scan it in. Got the watercolor in done. And ready to scan it in. Alright, we've got the illustration scanned in in Photoshop in six pieces. So now I have to put it back together again in Photoshop. We are to the final stage of climbing over the wall, which is the digital painting stage. We have it in Photoshop and put all back together. And I'm going to paint the background and then Emily's going to finish up on the people. So what I usually do is start with a um, multiplied layer of the same colors that I used with the pen watercolor pencils. So I start with kind of this golden color layer. I usually get the basic color from uh, the watercolor itself. Basically go over the whole thing again with that same kind of golden color and then do the same thing with the brown and then the blue and then uh, whatever other colors are in the illustration, in this case in green. And then I usually do all the, those same colors again with some screen layers and sometimes if we need an extra highlight, a little bit of a color dodge. Alright, so I'm finishing up painting the people in Photoshop here and I've got the skin done already. So here are the different layers I have for the skin. I start out with a peachy skin color and then I add some shadows and contouring and then some pink in the lips and the cheeks. So I finished with that. I've also got the hair here done in several different layers starting out with a with a base layer and then going on top with some highlights and shadows for the hair. And now I'm going to talk a little bit about eyes. So what we start with with the eyes is we start with the whites. Here we'll paint, paint the whites of the eyes and then add a color on top. A light color here and then we'll go in with the darks for the pupils and the shadows and then the shadows on the eyes that the eyelids cast on your eyeballs, we've got those here, and then in the creases of your eyes, and then the lashes. And the last thing we finish out on the eyes is the highlights, which really make them look rounded, depending on which direction the light is shining, so we'll have a glint here on the top of her eyes. And then we finish out with some highlights on the skin, some contouring that makes these cheekbones and the point of her nose stand out and then we finish out with shadows on the overall image. Mm -hmm.